Hi everyone, I'm Becky Medin. I'm here with Leti Gonzalez, president of the uh, Edinburgh Chamber of Commerce, and we want to expand on what you and Endes said at the podium just now. Um, there's two purposes for the event today, to promote iShop and also to promote the back to school drive you're having. So let's start with iShop. You kind of um, uh, wanted to reinvigorate it recently. How is that going? It's going really, really well. A lot, we've had more vendors participate in the iShop campaign, which means that there's more people trying to get into the program to offer some incentives for people to go out there to their stores or to their retail places. Right. Okay, so tell people, I think a lot of people do know, but for those who don't know, how does iShop work? Well, what, how it works is you can either call us at the chamber or get online at edinburgh.com or 383-4974. There's an application that needs to be filled out for iShop people that want to participate. And basically what you do is you put your name, the address, the phone number, a website, and offer any type of discount that you want to offer at no cost to us or to you. And basically it can either be buy one or get one half off or buy one and get your drink off or anything that you can come up with, 10% off, just so that we can get people to go into your doors and shop locally. And we post it on our website and it's linked onto the city website and it's link, linked onto the Edinburgh Economic Development website because we're all a group together, we all come together to make things happen and this is one of the programs that we offer as a group. Right, so this is a big benefit to both the businesses and the shoppers. The businesses pull those customers in and then the shoppers save, right? Yes, they do. We, we, it's a win-win situation. Nobody loses here. Right. And what about the shoppers? If they do want to um, pick up a card to use at the local businesses, how do they do that? They can come by our office at 602 West University Drive, which is the Old Southern Pacific Railroad, and we have plenty of iShop cards for everybody. And then our, our list, like I mentioned, is on our website, or we have a manual list because some people um, still like to read um, paper, and we have that and we print it out for you and we'll let you know um, where the merchants, which merchants are participating. Okay, so that way they can see what kinds of savings they'll benefit from before they get the card. And again, that's at your website, edinburgh.com, right? Edinburgh.com. And they also need to be looking out. A lot of times the merchants will have like a decal on okay. their window that kind of matches the iShop card. Mm -hmm. So that way they'll know that they're participating. And all you have to do is when you walk in, just say, um, I have my iShop discount card. Um, I would like to see what you all have to offer as far as iShop goes. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the other reason for the event today. You're having the back to school supply drive. And how does, how's that going? It's going really, really well. We had a lot of little youngsters come in today and participate. And it's amazing what they brought, uh, pencils to rulers to Crayolas to glue sticks, everything that you could possibly think of that kids are going to need when they go back to school. And we're going to continue this till the end of the month, till uh, August 31st. Okay. And lots of places to shop locally. I know you and the EEDC both work on this, getting those businesses in. So we have Staples. We have a lot of new stores where people can do that back to school shopping. We have Staples. We have Gateway Printing. We have CVS Pharmacy. We have Walgreens. I mean, we have people. Um, now it's back to school, so it's football season, baseball season. Yeah. So a lot of parents like to customize shirts. Well, we have people here locally that do that. JC Sports, Duramex. And it, people are amazed that... I mean, look first, and if you don't, if you have a little doubt that you're not sure we have it, call our office because we always either refer, we refer members first and we refer Edinburgh businesses first too. Right. So do your shopping here, and then those extra school supplies you pick up, you can bring them to the Edinburgh Chamber of Commerce. Yes. If you're uh, if you buy, if you overbuy, or if you want to just buy extra to donate, I mean, this year, uh, this year the Boys and Girls Club of Edinburgh will be receiving that, and so there's a lot of kids there that do need the supplies for back to school because I mean, some of us are fortunate and some of us are less fortunate, but we all need to keep one thing in mind: we all want our kids to get educated and it's a little less stressful for the parent if they find out that somebody's giving something to them and school supplies is a, is a necessity nowadays schools are asking for school supplies and a lot of times we can and can't afford them so the chamber is going to the CBB and the Economic Development Corporation in the city are going to work together to make it a little bit better for somebody. So it's a community effort to make sure the kids in Edinburgh are taken care of. Yes, it is. And everybody's working together to do that. So I want to thank everybody out there that's doing that. Let's give people the address one more time where they can drop off the supplies. It's the Edinburgh Chamber of Commerce and the EDC is also housed here and the CBB. And it's 602 West University Drive here in Edinburgh. And they can call 383-4974. If you can't uh, come by and drop them off, well, then we can probably make arrangements to go pick them up. We can oh, do that too. Okay, that's convenient. Yes, it is. All right, and if you, you do these regularly, these iShop events, so you're going to have another one coming up for the holidays, right? Yeah, I know it's back to school right now, but believe it or not, we're getting ready for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to have a holiday one, and it's, it's basically, um, believe it or not, we have all that here too for the small little gift, for, that, for something unique that does not, 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 not that everybody has it, or, right. but we have that, and it's amazing. Um, our gift shops, our retailers, even our, our local stores and merchants, and so we have that, um, and we want everybody given an opportunity. And if, let's say you're interested in, in being a vendor at that particular iShop campaign for the holiday, back to the holidays, or bring in the season with us, we're going to have an opportunity for you to display your, your, uh, your shop here or your business here.
Okay, so we want people to look out for that. Is that going to be in November before Black Friday, or do you know more or less? We're trying to shoot before uh, Black Friday, so we're, we're, we're working on that right now. As soon as this one's over, we're probably going to have a little meeting. And uh, just to encourage people to stay local, keep it local, keep it here in Edinburgh. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? No, just thank everybody for being here, thank our vendors, and, and thank, um, I mean, it's great to have all the organizations working together, so it's, it really makes our event a little bit more successful. And I want to thank everybody for just giving us an opportunity and letting us, um, letting us offer and letting people know what Edinburgh has. And it's, it's great. Edinburgh is a great place to live, a great place to work, and a pr great place to shop. Right. Okay, and again, we encourage everyone at home to donate those back-to-school items by bringing them to the Edinburgh Chamber of Commerce throughout the month of August. Thank you for talking with us. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching ECN. Have a great day.